Democracy is belonging to people in their own countries and it's up to them to stand up and to organize their own democracy. Guatemala vive supuestamente en democracia desde 1821. Pero si estudiamos de 1821 hasta 1985, han sido falsas democracias. NIMD is established to give political party support and to uh, assist uh, those parties in having their own dialogue. But the main element, of course, is that those countries who ask for support uh, are engaged in having their own strategy on building up their own democracy. I think that the uniqueness for NIMD is in the fact that this combination of party support and giving the opportunity for a dialogue is the main niche, the uniqueness we can give uh, to the world. And uh, to be honest, not so many other organizations are working uh, according the same lines. We are working on all the different continents around the globe. That includes Latin America, it includes Africa, uh, it includes Asia. And now we have added to the list of countries we are active in, the countries in the Arab region after the so-called Arab Spring from uh, 2011. NIMD chooses to work with all parties of a country together to resemble the real democratic situation as much as possible. In my view, the NIMD should encourage cooperation in general and peer-to-peer -peer learning in particular. There are already several good examples and this clearly shows the organization's added value. Just coming from one party system, people didn't know what maripatism is all about. Now when we started growing uh, in the process, uh, it was found need to set up a body where the political parties could interact and discuss. That's when we saw Center for Multiparty Democracy coming in. CMD Malawi has been very instrumental in providing the platform for dialogue by you know, involving all political parties represented in the parliament, as well as those outside the parliament. The biggest challenge uh, to work with political parties is that within their own parties, they are not very disciplined. So when they come to a disciplined forum, they, they usually want to resist a lot. I've found that however difficult, after a number of uh, days, months, when they understand the, the procedure, they accept it and they follow it because they realize that it is important to become a member of the center. They want to be involved in the political discourse that's going on there. And therefore, they would rather conform to, to the rules rather than be outside. It's at the essence of what democracy is about, that together with parties, who may have differences of opinion amongst themselves, you agree on the procedure, on how to go forward, take decisions that are acceptable to all parties. The fact that we are able, with um, <clears throat> that kind of representation, to call the leadership of all those parties to come together and address any national issue is uh, in itself a great milestone and also speaks to the fact that parties in Kenya have embraced dialogue among themselves and, not, and regardless of whether they are in competition with one another, they are not enemies.
Los logros del Instituto Holandés para la Democracia en Guatemala y específicamente en el Congreso han sido eh, bastantes halagüeños. Y bastantes halagüeños porque han permitido que todos los partidos lleguemos a una conjunción directamente ahora en lo que está pasando en esta comisión de descentralización. Es de tomar la consideración de que varios partidos con diferentes ideologías hemos confluido ahora por un bien común. El Instituto Holandés de la Democracia Multipartidaria en Guatemala creó un debate de las distintas ideologías. Luego ha integrado a la juventud, además de los líderes de los partidos políticos, a este proceso y ahora se encuentra ya en una etapa de leyes y productos concretos eh, que han tenido ya un beneficio y resultados concretos para la democracia guatemalteca. Hay otros actores que participan, hay nuevos actores que participan. La democracia, por lo tanto, es más amplia. Las discusiones, los debates son, eh, son cada vez más intensos y de lo que se trata, por lo tanto, hoy en día es preservar la democracia, eh, mejorar la participación de estos nuevos actores, pero sobre todo lograr un diálogo profundo entre todos los sectores que componen la sociedad boliviana. El interparte diálogo ha sido muy instrumental en contener las necesarias suspicions que se habrían dañado en nuestros países. We have been uh, able to have less and less suspicion uh, amongst us as, as, as political parties, uh, but also we have been able to come up with a common agenda uh, for us. More importantly, we have taken the initiative of saying, look, we are the main players in this process of uh, building democracy for our country. So in that respect, it has actually helped us as political parties. <laughs> Having uh, participated as political parties in coming up with a new constitutional order, I think it is now incumbent upon us to move a step further. Dialogue, yes, that we have uh, developed and ac accepted. We need to develop a culture of constitutionalism. Not just among political parties alone, but among, through the center, Kenyans as a whole. Zimbabwe for me is a major success story because I know how difficult it has been maneuvering the, the dialogue, the discussion, sometimes in secret, and now they are able to come forward and discuss as, as, as three partners. This is a special session and a special occasion because we can welcome in our midst a delegation on behalf of the three political parties in, in Zimbabwe. What you see now didn't just come like instant coffee. It's been hard work. It's been major fights. It's been misunderstanding. It's been working out of negotiations and not talking to each other. It's been giving press statements. But finally, I think the resolution was to say, if we are going to take this party forward, there will be situations where you win some and you lose some. When we began to talk, and in fact the global political agreement, there's uh, a chapter on land. We all agreed with a common position. That in fact the acquisition was necessary, and with that understanding, with that consensus, we now were able basically to move forward together. The commitment is there to make sure that Zimbabwe becomes one of the best countries that we can make it to be. And I think that uh, we have already proven that uh, our country is actually one of the fastest growing countries now in the region. And we would like to make it the fastest growing in Africa, because we can. We are committed to having a better Zimbabwe than we had before. And knowing that dialogue is going to treat uh, and, and cure a lot of these things.
we are believers in that dialogue is the only way to go you can have fights you can have revolutions but at the end of the day you still need to sit at the table and i think as zimbabweans we agreed that the faster we do it the better for for all of us <laughs> 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 <laughs>